it's great to be back. Uh, having played the Italian Open here last September, I feel very much at home, and and uh, it was a very useful experience of, of having been here before. Now coming back as the captain, and uh, we've had a great look around with the team this morning, and uh, looked at the golf course and figured out a, a few things that we want to tweak a little bit to um, to get everything ready for the matches. So uh, great to be back, and and uh, yeah, it's a great setup. There's so much about this city and this place, and it just creates an atmosphere. And, and the venue adds to that. It's a great venue. It's uh, it's it'd be a great place for spectators. But this is a pretty special place, I have to say. So it's my uh, absolute pleasure and honor to uh, to welcome my second vice captain onto the stage, Eduardo Molinari. You know, I've known for uh, for a few days, if not a few weeks, but I couldn't tell anyone. I think I'll have to sit down at one point at home in a, in a quiet room and just uh, reflect on what's been happening in the last few days. It is a dream coming true. Uh, it's something that goes beyond uh, any, any of my wildest dreams, to be honest. With the Ryder Cup being in Italy, this is going to be even more special. Uh, obviously, the reception today was, uh, was great. It was uh, very unexpected, I think, from, from a lot of them, if not all of them. And uh, it's something that I'm, I'm very proud of, and uh, you know, I'll, wear, uh, I'll wear the badge in the next uh, 16 months with uh, a lot of pride, a lot of uh, honor, and uh, yeah, really excited. He'll be huge. I don't think I've ever been so sure about a, a thing in my life. Uh, um, Eduardo is, is great with the stats. He, uh, he works with some of the players that will most likely be on this team and, and a lot of the hopefuls to be on it as well. So uh, he's got great uh, knowledge and, and relationship with, with those players. As a vice captain, it's all about trying to help Henrik make right decisions and, and make good decisions. There's no guarantees in the role as captain, but you can only make the best decisions possible and, and you need all the information that's available and, and Eduardo is essential in that role he's unbelievable to work with on statistics you know you you name one player and it comes straight out of his mouth everything you need to know and that's uh, that's very unique so i think from the very clever move by henry to to put him in this position where he's close to to all the decision making and then he has that role on the statistics uh, on the side where where he provides the information to the whole team these days uh, you can win or lose a Ryder Cup on a, on a little detail and, uh, and so that's why we're living no stone unturned, we're trying you know, to find any possible edge we can. Today we had a look at the golf course but we've been looking at you know, wild cards, qualifying process, uh, uh, schedule, all, all, you know, a lot of different things and, and a lot more we're gonna, we're gonna look into in the next few months. A lot of it goes into the planning now. We're, we're quite far out from, from the Ryder Cup. It's 16 months. That's part of the reason why I have Thomas and Eduardo in here. I, I, they, they are individuals and, and players that I, that I trust a lot. And, and uh, I really feel like that core group, we can, we can do a lot of this important planning. So a lot of work and, and it's been busy and uh, it will continue to be busy.